Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and today we're going to be reviewing Perfect by Mark Mason. So there's just something a little bit different with this review, and we're in a different location, obviously, and we're in the library, so I'm going to have to keep my voice down a little bit, but we have adjusted the mic, so hopefully you can pick it up, but if you're experiencing any audio issues, that is why. Without further ado, let's get into the effect. So what Perfect is, it's this card effect where you pick a card out of a deck of cards that you've shown that um, front and back that all the cards are different and there's no duplicates and then the card that you pick the spectator will look at it and then you explain to him this plot which is and it's featured here on the cover of the DVD is say for instance the seven of spades its perfect pair would be the seven of clubs because the seven of clubs is black and it's a seven so that's pretty much the gist of what the spectator is going to understand and then you tell them that you're going to deal down cards until they say stop and once they say stop that will be the perfect pair and so they do so you'll deal down the cards and um they'll say stop and then before you can reveal the card you can show the card that they would have chose that they would have said stop a second earlier in a second before or at any other time you just spread through and show that um all the cards are different and then once you turn over the perfect pair it is after all the perfect pair so that's the plot um oh the gimmicks can also come in red or blue so you can do it with a red rider back or a blue um rider back uh deck of playing cards so let's get into the negatives um, the first negative that I have with Perfect is it's a dedicated deck, so it really is the only trick you can do with this deck of cards. Now the gimmick isn't a full deck of cards, but once you put the gimmick into the deck of cards, you can only perform this effect. Um, I have been able to do like Sleeper with it, but that's because I use a very modified presentation of everything on a stage show, but typically you can only perform this effect. Um, another con is, so, well, before I get into the second con, I mean, it's not that big of a deal because you can switch it in using a deck switch, so just keep that in mind. Um, another con is you're going to need some audience management, but it's not the audience management that you might think it is. So they really can say stop at any time and it will be the perfect pair, but you can't have them handle the cards. so. That's the only other con. Other than that though, Perfect is a great effect. I mean, it works exactly as advertised. Um, they really can not say stop anywhere. You can show um, what they could have picked before and after and way after. They're all different cards. And for me, it's a perfect effect. I've fooled magicians with this. It's great. So if I had to give it a score, actually, I would give it a nine out of 10. Now this performance video, I'm gonna show you it's a little bit modified they don't teach you like the shuffles or anything like that that's just something i did for a contest but the plot is the same so without further ado i hope you enjoy so what i'm going to show you today is a card trick that i really like and started off i just want you to see that all the cards are normal right mm -hmm. and i just want you to try and unconsciously memorize where their positions yeah. are um, I know it might be a little difficult because now I'm going to switch up the order, but you can watch me shuffle this. So I'm just going to move these cards and shuffle them like so. Oops, I moved another card. But anyways, <laughs> okay, so that wasn't the best shuffle. But are you satisfied yeah. that it's Ram Eyes and uh, that it, yeah. it's in a different order? Okay, fair enough. So now what I want you to do is I just want you to pick a card. And just like that. Just pick any card you want. Okay, I won't look, just show it to the camera. Are you satisfied with the card? You could change it if you want. I'm good. Okay. Um, so now, uh, yeah, just lay it down because I don't want to see it. Um, now we're going to play just this simple, like, matching okay. thing where um, I'll describe it like so. So this card is the Jack of Hearts, but it has mm -hmm. this perfect pair, and this is what you're going to look for is the perfect pair to your card. I'll describe how that works. So... This would be the Jack of Diamonds, since it's red and okay. it's a jack. Um, this card would be Queen of Clubs, because Queen of Clubs is black and it's okay. a queen. This would be Ten of Clubs. Do you kind of get the idea? Yeah. So this one would be... The Seven of Hearts. And this one would be... Ace of Spades. Yes, Ace of Spades. Very good. So you have an idea of how it works. So now 
I'm just going to deal cards, and I want you to tell me when to stop. You're going to try to find the perfect pair of that card. Okay. So just tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, so we're going to stop there. Now let's see what you could have picked. You could have picked the four of diamonds, mm -hmm. or you could have picked the five of clubs. But instead, what you picked was the perfect pair. Good job, <laughs> sir. Thank you.